Last time on Narcosis. Nice. Oh ho ho! One of the most potent. All right, enjoy your meal. I'll uh, keep going. Have a good one. Oh, there's a body over here. Let's go pick up the bodies. ID. No ID detected. Awesome. Oh my god! Jesus fuck! Oh come on, asshole! Yeah, fuck you. I said fuck you. Of course. So I do have to go across this graveyard of bullshit. Oh, this guy again? What the fuck? Like, there's just no explanation into, like, what I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, it's... There's an explanation of you know, turn the power back on to use the lift, but, like, how? I, are you fucking serious? Go, go, go. Woot. Shit, would liquid nitrogen take over? What the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, not this again. Whoa! No! 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 Oh, shit! Go, 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 go. Ah! Access denied. Well, you're a dick. What the fuck? Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> oh, bro, what is this game? I don't have a security passcode. What the fuck? One. Zero. Word. Code. It's all threes? We have to go interact with that stain. Zero, yep. Now where's the other one? Oh. Six. Any number is important. I need one more. Oh, right there. Oh, all of a sudden my shit's back? Oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. So it's, uh... Th what? Oh, come on! It was just there! Oh, no. I don't remember the fucking code. 316... 31605? Oh. They did it for me. 36105. Oh, it's close. Alright, let's see who's behind me now. Oh, wow. Might as well take that. Fuck it. You saw terrible things. 
Oh. And even if you made it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it uh, just a little? Oh, there she is. No. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. I talked with therapists and trauma experts for months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's, it's a good question, true. Kevin. Good question. I made mistakes down there, yes, but... Maybe they're waterproof. Did I lose my mind? No. No way. All right. <clears throat> Halima Okin, manager, Germany. Oh! Halima was determined to make her family proud. The first female rig manager I've encountered. Maybe the best. Now here she is. Knife in one hand, pills in the other. Heartbreaking, but there's an undeniable dignity and except the inevitable. Refusing to bargain. The youngest among us? Among us. And she didn't try to run. Like a captain going down with the ship. Still, I can't imagine any parent taking any pride in this kind of resolve. Not when it ends like this. Uh, we missed JJ Castillo. Apparently picked him up. Oh, right. I forgot about that guy. Uh, junior Diver. The first time or the 50th trudging through the extractor farm always puts a little ice in your blood. Someone, can't remember who, someone said it's like a forest of metal trees, roots soaking up the salt of the earth. JJ walked these fields pretty much daily. Now he's watching over them like a second-rate scarecrow, attracting more scavengers than he repels. I can still hear him now, cracking jokes and talking shit, like father, like son. Yikes. Oh, come on. Get out of there, you little dick. Get, get. Leave him alone. Oh, shit! Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Oh, no! What the? Whoa! What is this madness? No! Jesus Christ! No! Get the fuck away from me, dude! Oh, shit! Jeez, this is fucked. This dude is fucked in the head. That's all I gotta say. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trapped. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he saved me. Thanks, bro. This oh. entire experience is defined by the fact that you came back alone. Your story started with 20 people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. There's a responsibility to get things right. For the record. I just picked up one. Who the fuck was it? Whatever. Hey, mortician was heavier. Ha 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 ha, dick. What the fuck? Oi! Come on! You better fuck off. Come on, bring it. I'll cut ya. Fucking flying vagina. Oh boy. Yo, this old school diver guy is apparently the shit. It's like little nightmares or something. Unlimited thrust enabled. Oh, I can't. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I guess. What in the world?
Yo, this game gets to really interesting levels that I was not anticipating. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, that, 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 that. Oh, God! Fucking Day of the Dead shit. Come on, go! What? What's going on? I don't know where to go. Rest in peace, Russ. Oh. Hey. Lord. You all right? Come on, let's get back to the house. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What? What? Oh, I, I can't fucking handle this shit. This is... Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. What? If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, sole survivor of the Oceanova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about... I'm assuming this is the end. Escaping the flooded habitat and being lost on the seafloor inside a half-ton titanium diving suit. Well, just in case it's not the end, <laughs> let me restore my O2. Kip, I know this might not be easy, but I'd like to talk about the end. Can you read that for us? Oh boy. Yeah. The list is getting shorter. The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'll be the sole I put survivor. the knife away. But for now, huh. I'm not alone. How did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. So when I saw another suit in the room, oh, it's almost too much to process. I couldn't believe that it was... Virgil made it, just like me. How did you get? I thought everyone was. Only I'm locked inside the pod, and he's locked out. Can you hear me? What? I can't stop the launch. There's no override. Oh he's wow! Not coming back. Oh god! I'm sorry. And that's on me. So that's us in there. So and we're actually some other dudes. If you did something wow. differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. Until I saw him, fear in his eyes, I thought I was the only one. It was a bad call. That's why we keep getting this guy reaching out at us the entire game. That was not what I was expecting. Oh, wow. And it's just getting darker and darker by the second. Now what? Do I just go, all right, guess we'll go find some lunch. Oh, no, I can open the door. All right. You didn't kill him. Really? Who did? 
bad luck, I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. That explains all the PTSD shit. Wow. I can't move. I can just look. I'm not doing that. I'm moving on my own. I can just simply look around. This must be Davy Jones. We're heading to his locker. Oh, achievement unlocked. The Wanderer. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming this is Endgame, obviously, but... Ugh. Holy shit, man. That's... That's a story that I was not prepared for in this game. I figured it'd just be him, like, trying to get out or whatever. Look at this. I'm getting turned all necrotic and shit. And all moldy and algae and... Yep, that's it. I just wander the ocean floor. Wow. That is some dark fucking shit. Kip, it's been more than defeat a, a cuttlefish for since all this happened. Huh. You wrote a book and told your story. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Get myself working again. Kip Mattis, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me, Emily.